right, what up though? <clears throat> Welcome back to the channel. Let's do a quick energy reading for the sign of Virgo. All right, let's see who you're dealing with or what you're dealing with. We have a long journey, either physically or mentally, that will leave you wiser in the end. We have good fortune. Okay, so first of all, with this long journey energy, I feel like this is giving a two to three year plan, okay, two to five year plan, okay? You could be planning out some type of journey that you will be embarking on uh, by the end of this year. Whatever journey this is, is going to bring you good luck, good fortune, okay? There also could be romance around you at this time. Yeah, straight victory. Okay, so you could be working with plans, routines, making a plan or a journey that will leave you better in the end. You could be traveling. This is also giving me the energy of going to school, learning something, investing in something that will leave you wiser. Something is worth a lot. I'm looking at the ivory tusks right here. Something is worth a lot. Okay, let's see. What's going on with Virgo's energy? We have the King of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. So the King of Pentacles represents someone stable, good with money. It represents someone who is a problem solver, supportive, practical, honest. Okay, the King of Pentacles is somebody well-established. This gives me the energy of you choosing a path that will lead you to security, stability. And it's very practical. Something could take a long time with the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is someone who does something over and over again to the point where they have mastered it. They become a master. Uh, this is no longer something that this person has to think about doing. They just reap the benefits of already have done. All right, let's see who's interacting with you. So you could be going towards a job, a career. You could be going towards something that will lead you more financially stable in the future. But right now it's just starting off. So yeah, two to three, four year, five year plan. Who's interacting with Virgo? There's someone who has mutual feelings with you about your plans. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who's interacting with Virgo? We have the Tower card. Scorpionic energy. The chariot again. Okay. So whoever inter is interacting with you, Virgo, this person could be having like a shocking revelation. Uh, a, a relationship with someone you may have thought was stable may not withstand pressure. You're interacting with a tower. Uh, somebody could be suffering from migraine attacks. Yeah, but I feel like there's somebody that you're dealing with and some type of destruction is going to illuminate hidden tensions. I also feel like there's someone who has an intense attraction for you, okay? With the Tower card, it's giving... That there could be someone who you give a spiritual wake-up call to. All right, let's see, because the chariot's at the bottom. It's forward movement. 
Aries, Cancer could be significant. Let's see what you two create together with a kingpin. We have the eight of coins to the temperance energy. The three of swords. Mm. All right, Virgo. So today you could be embarking on a journey that is going to lead you to a great pace in the future. In doing so, the people that you deal with is going to go through towers. You're going to bring sudden shocks and awareness to these people. They're going to see things differently just by dealing with you. With the Eight of Pentacles to the Temperance card, with a combined energy between you two, this is giving me the energy of someone... Helping you work and succeed at the things that you want to. Okay? Because the Eight of Pentacles energy talks about hard work. We know that. Attention to detail. The Temperance card talks about divine intervention, divine timing. The middle path energy. Trying hard to meet the expectation of others or a partner. Or it's hard work to stay grounded. Three of Swords. Somebody. Mm. There's somebody here who you could have had a tower with, Virgo. Um, the relationship did not withstand something. They had some type of spiritual wake-up call. And now this person is putting in work to gain some type of peace. They want to work alongside your plan. They want to be alongside your plan here. Whatever journey that you're embarking in will leave everyone wiser, stronger, and more fortunate. That's why romance is in the air. If someone knows you'll have a victory in something, that's why they're here romantically. Beware great pride. Seek out information that will help you, and you are on the right path. Great worry over nothing. So this person is seeking out information that will help you on your path because they want to be attached to it. Yeah, we have exhaustion here in order and control. So I feel like Virgo, this is giving boss energy, all right? You may have like broke up with someone and this person is working hard to it's almost like they're working hard to help you on your path, on your five-year path. So at first this person could have done something that hindered your work, your stability, your plan. And it could have ended in a tower. Now this person is working hard to make sure your plan works and to aid it in some type of way. This person is trying to stay calm. Okay. That's the outcome for Virgo interacting with this energy. We have the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. You get the Ace of Pentacles in either way. <laughs> okay. You definitely get the Ace of Pentacles either way. You're going to be victorious. You're going to be abundant. Something is good luck, good fortune for you. It's destined. And you know that. You know that already. You know you're going to be big. And you know that already. So does the person dealing with you. Okay? You also know the person dealing with you is only putting in this type of work to be on your level because you know they know who you are and what you're going to be, period. So whoever this person is that you're dealing with may try to talk themselves up, try to have breakthroughs, try to make you see them differently, try to wake up spiritually, change, evolve quickly to keep up with you. 
Yeah, they know that you're going to get some type of Ace of Pentacles and they want to be there during the groundwork, dur during the hard work. They want to say that they put in energy with the temperance. They interacted with you. They helped you in some type of way do these things and get these things. They want to be a part. This is a coattail person. They want to be on your coattail. Let's see. What's the outcome for this person Virgo is dealing with? What's the outcome for this person that Virgo is dealing with? Heavy on the earth. What's the person's outcome? <sighs> What's the outcome to the person Virgo is dealing with? Huh. They gon they gonna get what they want, G. They're gonna get what they want. <laughs> they they're gonna get what they want. Eleven eleven. They're gonna get what they want, Virgo. They're gonna get what they want, period. Somebody is working hard to have a relationship with you. Their outcome is is a burden. It's gonna be hard work here. It's gonna be hard work for this person to keep up with you. It's gonna be a burden and a lot of responsibility to focus on you and what other things that they have to do. But with the Four of Wands energy, that's the end of a burden. Four of Wands. And then relaxation. Somebody feels like something is worth it. Mm -hmm. There could have been a person here where y'all had like um, uh, a relationship, right? And it may not have gone the way that it should have with this tower energy there could have been a breakup there could have been a separation or a breakdown of something this person is back g they're willing to work on whatever they didn't work on in the past because they're feeling like they're being called to okay whoever this is knows that you are going to win they know what's in your future they know what's destined for you so they're willing to put in any work even if it's twice the responsibility twice the twice the work you feel me by aiding and supporting you or being there for you to add temperance to your energy someone here virgo is fully in love and is going to add to the productivity of your work and what you are doing so somebody's outcome is they're gonna have to work hard for this relationship with you ace of cups and they're willing to do it four of wands this person definitely could be trying to buy you a new home okay this person's outcome it's gonna be hard they're gonna take on a lot more than they have to to gain some type of freedom but they're gonna do it okay the outcome between you two, Eight of Pentacles to the Temperance. The outcome between you two, Eight of Pentacles to the Temperance. The higher thing. Oh, shit. The hermit. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, Y'all gonna get married. Oh, my God. This, this is your person, G. The outcome between y'all two is the Hierophant. What the fuck? Okay. The Hierophant stands for unity. I told you this person is with you. Okay. They're with you. They're locked in. They're willing to help. They're willing to go out of their way for help. They feel like you're someone who is worth the, the energy, is worth the hard work, is worth all of that. With the Hierophant, the outcome between you two is unity, intimacy in your relationships, a marriage, a commitment. Okay, there could be some type of diplomatic approach to your career. Yeah, you're you're the one with a big career, right? Being generous help, being generous help money flow back to you. So you're the one with the big career, or there could be someone with a big career. But I'm getting that it's you in the future who's gonna have this big career, Virgo, this big plan, this big money, right? And since that is happening, you're gonna be the diplomat of this relationship. So even if you're um, 
a feminine in this masculine energy. There's a man here who's going to support your work, but there's a man up here. So if I'm talking to a masculine Virgo, there's a feminine who's going to support your work. They're going to make sure you have what you need to be relaxed. And so will they. Yeah, this is also deepening some type of spiritual connection between you two. You're going to work as a spiritual teacher and guide to this person. You've already woken them up in the ways that they needed to wake up with this tower energy because you came out with them with temperance. So if this tower came out and it came up with a devil or some bad card here, I would know if this was a bad wake up call. But because the angels came out with hermit and the hierophant, you're helping someone. Okay, there also could be something else in your energy, Virgo. Okay, during a separation period, you could have healed some type of restrictions, did something on your own to bring you up. Yeah. Or this is what's going to happen with the Nine of Wands and the Ten of Swords. <laughs> There could have been in a person who's trying to attack your relationship, okay? Yeah, I do see this energy with the tower. Like, there was a certain point where this relationship went on hold. The world card may have even ended. And all somebody was doing was worried about you, big money. Okay. Give me something for the person Virgo is dealing with with the tower card. We have a period of frustration, lessons to be learned, I'm telling you. So there is definitely we have the Ten of Wands energy here for this person. There was definitely a period of frustration. Okay, this person definitely had to learn some lessons. This is that wake up call. If you're gonna be dealing with Virgo, you're gonna have to learn these lessons. This person may also go through a period of frustration where they're getting their where they're getting their energy back. Okay, it could take this person some hard work before they could get out of this period of frustration. Yeah, someone is thinking of you. Outcome for Virgo. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, G. I'm telling you, I don't know what you're stepping into, what's going to be given to you, what field you're going into, what is happening for you, Virgo, but it's big money, okay? It's big money, it's destined, it's big, it's showy, it's flashy, it's yours, okay? This is prosperity on prosperity for your outcome every single time, every time, every single time. That's why this person be thinking of you. I told you. They know. Take care. Enemies are working against you. They already know. And I feel like all your enemies know too. I'm not going to lie. Outcome for this person. Look at that, G. Their outcome covered you. That's crazy, G. And then it was an angel that came out. Spiritual guidance, protection from harm. I told you, you're either going to be a spiritual guide to this person and help this person spiritually have these spiritual wake-up calls, show them the divine ways, right? The divine order, place them in unity with God and spirituality, or they are going to do this with you. Whoever this person is with their spiritual guidance and protection from harm, Virgo, you're spiritually guiding them, okay? And it's keeping them for protected from harm. And because they know that, they are going to do whatever to balance out something. 
This person could be your spiritual protection. This person could pray for you because we have the eight of pentacles with the temperance and then an angel coming out for them again. Two angels. You both could be angels here. This is crazy. Look, happiness and well-being. Get the fuck out of here. The four of wands. What the hell? I'm just very surprised at this energy. Okay. Outcome for Virgo and this person dealing with each other here. What's the outcome for Virgo and this person dealing with each other? It says psychic abilities and trust your intuition. It says honor and respect will come to you, G. What the fuck? Straight beautiful energy, Virgo. Straight beautiful energy. Your intuition could be telling you about a job, a place, a path, where to go, who to do it with, who to take with you, if somebody is worth it, if it's going to be worth it. Your intuition, your third eye is fully awake, fully online at this time. You see an opportunity worth going towards. It may be a long journey to achieve it, but I see you achieving it gracefully, okay, with help, with help with angels and people, angels and a person. This is earth angel energy, but there's also just regular angels out here, okay? So I am going to pull one last card. And we're going to leave it there. One card here for Virgo. One card here for the overall energy for Virgo, please. Wow. We have caution. And then we have speculation here at the bottom. Yo, so this caution card is giving me the energy of a great migration, all right? And in my head, I'm picturing Africa, the wildebeest migrating across a lake with uh, crocodiles in it, okay? So spirit wants you to be cautious with this lover. For real. The six represents lovers and partnerships. Okay. So spirit is telling you to be cautious with this lover. Because with the six to the Virgo energy, it's giving me that you need to be at one with yourself and the universe. Self-compassion keeps love flowing. So there's something here about being cautious with yourself. All right, allowing you to be one with yourself so that you can show up in this relationship correctly. There's also a warning here there could be a Cancer, Pisces, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Pisces, Aries again. There could be someone who you need to be cautious of. What, what, put what on cautious. I know I said I was going to get out of here, but I saw it in the cards. There's some, there's like a third party. Uh, what's this energy? That's that crocodile. There's something about rumple still skin. <laughs> what's cautious? The two of pentacles, yeah, juggling. Do not juggle lovers. Do not juggle, Virgo. Be cautious juggling as well. But this is giving me the energy of juggling your needs and this relationship needs. Yeah, this new lover is going to manifest people from your past. And if you put forth energy into other people and other things, 
something won't work right two of pentacles so stay balanced stay cautious virgo make sure you're taking care of yourself your priorities doing what you have to do so you can show up in the energy correctly okay do not allow somebody's other their frustration to frustrate you and I'm telling you, there is going to be third party interference, okay? And there is going to be third party interference. And with the two of pinnacles, it's going to take your focus off of your path in this relationship, okay? This is also giving me the energy of being cautious, juggling your path in this relationship okay so don't make any hasty decisions virgo um move carefully in the way stake to your plan but also take care of yourself this is the energy that I have for you, Virgo. If you resonate with anything here, please give me a like, comment down below. Subscribe to the channel. See what's coming up next in the Virgos. And y'all already know, I'm very grateful and thankful for everybody watching. Peace.